Honorable Mishwe, ACDP. Um, thank you, Hal Chairperson. The National Development Plan envisions a South Africa where people feel safe and can enjoy a community life free of crime. Achieving this requires a well-functioning criminal justice system in which the police, the judiciary, and correctional services work together to ensure that suspects are caught, prosecuted, and if convicted, are securely incarcerated and rehabilitated. The NDP, the NDP never envisioned a South Africa where the police would detain suspects, brutally beat them up, or even kill them before they were ever convicted in the court of law. One of the listed SAP's priorities for 2020-21 in the APP is to professionalize the public order policing component and strengthen its capability. But what we have seen by the actions of some police officers, particularly during this lockdown period, is one brutal assault after another. And this is deeply alarming. While the ACDP acknowledges that many of our police officers are doing an excellent job and we want to thank them for that. There are nevertheless some rogue elements within the police who often choose to take the law into their own hands. It was shocking and cruel of the police to drag Mr. Maido Mashia behind a police van, actions which later led to his death while in police custody with head injuries and internal bleeding. It was wrong and deeply irresponsible for eight GMP, JMPD officers and two SAPS officers to stand by and watch as soldiers assaulted Mr. Collins Cosa hours before he died as a result of blunt force trauma to the head. If Collins had broken the law, why was he not simply arrested? House Chairperson, I find it ironic that some South African politicians who did nothing to condemn the death of Mr. Koza by SANDF soldiers were quick to protest the killing of George Floyd, who was also killed brutally by a cruel policeman in the USA after he also took the law into his own hands. The ACDP calls on government to prioritize the retraining of our police officers so that they are more humane when exercising their duties. We call further on government to ensure that police brutality stops for as long as there is corruption and... We lost you, Mruti.